welcome to my channel and today i'm going to review the bamboo lab a1 printer so i finally received my bamboo lab a1 3d printer and i ordered the ams uh, light as well so i get the multicolor functionality i the, the box was huge uh, as you can see but uh it started the unboxing It was well packaged so a lot of parts were uh, fixed uh, to the printer but I think that's how they do do it the box has a lot of things but one some of the things that you can uh, that I can show you guys is the sw the swatches that they provide which has the name and the code given on it so if you want to order a specific color you already know how it looks and then you can order it from the bamboo uh, lab, bamboo lab store uh, online apart from that they also give you a small gift or a kit so i with for my uh, combo i got the cloud the clock components they give the components and then you can print the body then the last thing that i want to show you is this particular box which has all the important stuff like the oil the screws your um, uh, the extra blade and the toolkit cleaning uh, which is also spare finally set up initially i had only one color so i did the single color setup and this is how it looks once you're done with that you can just uh, switch on the display click on start choose your language the wherever you are based and you can connect to your wi-fi so this is the uh, interesting part that i really like so earlier i used the ender 3 and which did not have the wi-fi capability so connect to your wi-fi you can also create your bamboo account uh, by scanning this code so i already have that so uh, i already logged in you can also install the app and once it is connected you can send your print send whatever you want to print from your app or from the bamboo studio software as well this is the calibration part so it takes around 30 minutes uh, for the calibration and it will do noise cancellation, speed test, vibration compensation, all these things. So you can sit and watch if you like, but uh, it's good for like three minutes after that uh, you get bored. So uh, you can you can do your own work and it will do its own calibration. So this is the test speed at 50 uh, mm per second. And it will keep on doing other stuff as well. the vibration compensation it will do noise cancellation at different speeds so that's that's good it will do the bed leveling it will clean the tool tip as well and it will do all kinds of stuff So once the calibration was done, I started with the first print that we all do, that's the Benchy. So uh, the printer is really, really fast and I really liked it. Uh, it will print the Benchy in 14 minutes and you can see the quality, it's uh, it's really good. It might uh, fail a bit at the edges, but I think that's completely fine for a 14 minute print. The next thing that I printed was the scraper. So they give you, so the bamboo lab will give you the uh, will give you the blade, and then they will also provide you with the STL file, and then you, you just have to print it. The good thing about this is uh, it will print each part separately. Uh, so it will print by object. It won't print by layer. So 
it will print the entire thing and then it will print the object i really like this feature as well so on your bamboo studio you can you so there's a camera on the printer on the bamboo studio or on the app you can see what is getting printed so if you are anywhere else you can actually see uh, your prints as you can see the bamboo lab is getting imprinted the printer is really fast it doesn't make a lot of noise it's very smooth and now it's printing the second part of the scraper so the first part was complete and now it's starting with another uh, object at another location so that that really helps if you're doing multicolor prints uh, i've done that too so i thought that this, this is a very useful feature so that's the final print it's really good they have the bamboo lab logo on it and now we'll take the blade uh, and they have given us the screws as well so these are the three parts that they gave us but i was really disappointed that uh, the STL file given by them the holes do not match properly so i had a tough time figuring out uh, that part like the screws did not match with the holes and then i had to make some adjustments but uh, it, in the end it did fix it but uh, not that well so that part is that that's what it is so but it works well so it does work and this is how it looks after it fits and i try to use it so and it does work then that that is great actually but if you see at the corner uh, it ha it's not completely fixed within the screw so this is a small char remainder that i printed uh, it takes around two hours to print this but i printed this without any support so the print did not go well but it was fast so if you can see the hand it was not printed well but it's uh, the print was good for that particular small object this is uh this is this is also provided by bamboo lab in the in their app itself so it's the uh, the slate uh, protector which is uh, placed at the uh, at the top or at the side i really like this because uh, it, it really prints uh, well the uh, it, there's a small gap between the two and it was able to get that so i used it so it po uh, fits perfectly to the slate so th this is really good so I got my AMS, so I got more colors, so this is how you set up. You just ch check your PLA color, set it, and then you have to load the filament, heat the, so it will heat the nozzle. Uh, once you fix, it's going to, uh, so it automatically works, so it's going to automatically, uh, the filament is going to uh, go into the extruder. I, and I really liked that. It will cut the filament on its own. So if you see it's cutting the filament now. It goes back. And now it will start with the orange filament. And it does it automatically. So there's the, you don't have to worry uh, whether it's going to work or not. It's, it's going to work. I went ahead and printed a keychain for myself. I designed it uh, like this. And the printer works really fast it's a 20 minute print so i really liked it and i use it as well that's the final print further i printed a key keychain holder uh, with some hexagons that go into a keychain and you can hang it over here i use it in my house i've stuck it to the uh, wall next to my door This, this is a holder uh, which is kept near the sink in the kitchen so it keeps your sponge and other things if you want to keep it keep it so i printed this in yellow the print time was around three two and a half hours uh, which is fair i guess print is over and the print the layer the first layer was printed very nicely and although the uh, uh, partitions are a bit loose but uh, that's how it was designed so I tried the multicolor uh, print with uh, two objects, uh, printing it object by object for the headphone holder on my table. 
so the red one is the, which goes in the table and i have the screw over there which is getting printed in white so the time taken for this was again uh, three hours up to three hours but the print is really good it's remarkable how the threads are getting printed so i really like this and i use it as well on my table this is a spatula holder uh, which i printed to use it in the kitchen the time taken was three hours again uh, but i think i shrink the size of the actual uh, spatula holder and we shrink it and now then it was like around three three hours the first layer was again beautifully printed the center prints were a bit off i felt but i i think it was how the how it was designed yes so i printed this in orange and it will hold up to four different spatulas i printed another spatula uh, in blue color uh, which on the side if you can see it also holds the lid i think this is the most interesting uh, print that i personally like it's a it's a drawer so i did this in green and the drawer supports are done in white so the print was finished it took around four hours only for the drawer so this takes a lot of time but uh, the print is really good with supports so a lot of filament is not wasted since it's a single color Oh, it's three hours the print time is three hours nine minutes which is fair i guess the base has hexagon uh, design these are the supports it has two uh, holes as well so you can fit it with a screw with two screws I decided so so i couldn't find the screws but then i decided i would just stick it uh, with a double sided side tape and it worked so I, I don't think so it is going to fall so it works well that's how it looks from the bottom it doesn't take much space so that's a good thing i designed a low poly tilted head dog and this is really uh, well printed around two hours again the time was for this particular one, one hour 30 minutes i guess for this particular design at the base it gave uh, some issue but i think that that is fine I, I won't i don't think it would give for every other print but overall the print was good this is a pot uh, a planter with spiral design this is one of the best prints that i like that i personally like I wanted to have something creative so I went with the castle uh, castle toothbrush and toothpaste holder so this took around 3 hours for both the pieces and I use it so support was not given but it still worked fine this is a pen holder and I love it because of the details in the shoelaces that the printer was able to do it without any issues printed a card holder for myself it comes in three different parts and you can uh, assemble them uh, which is a press to fit mechanism and it works perfectly uh, this is the uh, laptop stand uh, which comes in two pieces uh, total time taken for this was four hours the print quality is good for this as well uh, I set it up and I use this on my table as well. So these were some of the prints that I did. 
uh, I got my printer last month, so it's been a month since I printed th these things. I print a lot of more things as well, but I couldn't make a video out of it. Overall, if I want to say the Bamboo Lab Even combo printer is way better than uh, other printers, I would say I can't comment on the A1 Mini about the print time and uh, the slate size and everything. But this is uh, for the price range, it's really really good. I have four different colors, so I keep on changing the colors, print different stuff, and it's it's really easy.